now see applications of nurse distribution law now students we know that this nurse distribution law is valid if it follows the certain conditions you know that the conditions for validity of nurse distribution law are the temperature should be constant the solute should not associate or dissociate in any of the solvents that is the molecular state of solute in both the solvent must be same next one the solution should be dilute for the concentrated solution the nerd distribution law shows some deviations and very important last point is that the two solvent should be either immiscible or soluble to very slight extent or very small extent now in order to apply the nerd distribution law these conditions should be followed but if we have to apply this nerd distribution law and if there is association or dissociation then we have to modify that law and after modification it will be useful to determine a degree of association or degree of dissociation now see first application of nerd distribution law and that first application is this nerd distribution law useful for the determination of degree of association determination of degree of association now this degree of dissociation can be find out from this nerd's distribution law now consider two solvents solvent a and solvent b and these two solvents are immiscible let it will be solvent a and it will be solvent b now this solute which is soluble in both of the solvent but consider it will be associate in solvent b okay that's why if this solute is added in this solvent let here x is added that is solute then there will be no change because there is no association or dissociation and when it is added into the solvent b then what happens it get associated means nx molecule gives xn this is bigger molecule because generally in non polar solvents the solute molecule undergoes association undergoes association means what happens two or more molecules of that solute exist in a combination with each other to form a bigger molecule okay here this xn is a bigger molecule and x molecules combine together to form bigger molecule that's why there is association okay now let be assume c1 is the concentration let let c1 is concentration of solute in solvent a concentration of x or solute in solvent a okay here it will be c1 let be assume okay then let be assume c3 be the concentration 
of a solvent concentration of a solute in solvent b okay what is c3 concentration of x that is solute in solvent b means in the normal state here there is no association here there is no association okay that's why c1 is the concentration of solute in solvent a okay but here there is association occurred okay what is there association occurred and c2 is the concentration of solute b solute x in solvent b now let be assume here c2 what is c2 c2 is concentration of xn that is associated molecules in solvent b very important what is c2 c2 is a concentration of xn here means here there are two equilibria this first equilibria between the simple molecules of solute in solvent a and solvent b this is first equilibria second equilibrium between the associated molecules and normal molecules of the solvent b okay now here for this first equilibrium for first equilibrium okay which is this first equilibrium x is in equilibrium with an x here the concentration of solute is c1 here the concentration of solute is c3 okay here c3 that's why according to nerd's distribution law what is nerd distribution law this distribution coefficient k1 is equals to concentration of nx upon concentration of x and concentration of nx is c3 and concentration of x is c1 okay this is equation 1 now for second equilibrium very important which is second equilibrium here it will be second equilibrium which is second equilibrium nx is in equilibrium with xn that is associate molecule you know simple molecules combines together to form bigger one it is called as association here the concentration is c3 here the concentration is c2 now according to law of mass action what is there this equilibrium constant kc is equals to concentration of xn upon concentration of x raised to power n now what is the concentration of xn it will be c2 then c3 raised to concentration of x is c3 raised to n okay now if we solve further that is kc is equals to c2 upon c3 raised to n that's why c3 raised to n is equals to c2 upon kc this is equation 2 okay now this will be equation first if it will be equation first then you may write c3 equals to k1 okay c3 equals to c1 upon a into k1 okay it may be written as c3 okay how it can be written it can be written as now c3 from this c3 here is also c3 or this c3 is equals to c1 upon k1 okay now from this equation 1 okay this equation may be written as in this way okay now here this equilibrium constant okay now here c3 here c3 raised to power 3 now from these two equation or we may take a nth root here 
टेक यंथ रूट टेक यंथ रूट देन सी थ्री इज इक्व टू अंडर रूट ऑफ सी टू अपॉन अंडर रूट ऑफ यंथ रूट ऑफ के सी ओके नाउ फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन एंड टू और फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन एंड थ्री दिस इज इक्वेशन वन दिस इज इक्वेशन थ्री यू मे राइट सी वन अपॉन के वन इज इक्व टू यंथ रूट ऑफ सी टू अपॉन यंथ रूट ऑफ के सी ओके नाउ आफ्टर फर्दर सॉल्विंग दिस इज सी वन ओके नाउ फर्दर सॉल्विंग आफ्टर फर्दर सॉल्विंग वॉट यू गेट दिस सी वन डिवाइडेड बाय सी वन डिवाइडेड बाय यंथ रूट ऑफ सी टू ओके दैट इज इक्वल्स टू के वन अपॉन यंथ रूट ऑफ के सी विच इज इक्विलिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट एंड इट विल बी इक्वल्स टू दिस के डी दैट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कोइपिशंट एंड दैट्स वाई दिस के डी इज इक्वल्स टू सी वन अपॉन यंथ रूट ऑफ अंडर रूट सी टू वेयर दिस सी वन इज द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सोलूट एक्स इन सॉलवेंट ए एंड सी टू इज द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ associated molecules that is xn in solvent b now in this way this uh, this is uh, the application of nernst distribution law for the determination of degree of association here this n can be determined that is a degree of association can be determined if you know this n okay i think you all got it that is the first application of nernst distribution law for the determination of degree of association here c1 is the concentration of solute in solvent a and association takes place in solvent b let c3 is the concentration of solute in solvent b then according to nernst or according to law of mass action what is is to be determined you have to determine c3 that is c3 is equals to c1 upon k1 okay getting it c3 equals to because you know here what is k1 is equals to c1 upon c3 okay that's why c3 equals to c1 upon k1 okay now after this here this nx molecule gives this is the first now this will be the second equilibrium okay now in the first equilibrium x in solvent a and x in solvent b okay now there is no association getting it that's why from this you will get this c3 equals to c1 upon k1 now later on in second equilibrium there is association from this you will get this equation c3 concentration of c3 raised to n is equals to c2 upon kc take a nth root you will get this equation 3 compare this to equation you will get this after solving this is kd that's why kd equals to c1 upon under root of c2 okay thank you thank you very much